Good morning. So yeah, my hotkey to start recording also is uh, opens the looks like the HTML editor. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that is in the web browser. Anyway, so I th I was thinking maybe I would do a short video just uh, studying Link this morning. Um, it's barely morning, but Sunday, so it kind of counts. I've been up for a couple hours though. I'm not that off schedule. Um, yeah. So um, my I do feel like I'm kind of, I, I was really happy about my progress with Korean uh, recently. And, um, and I was doing lots of flashcards and I was doing link and I was watching uh, videos and it just seemed like it was going really well, but that, that, that only lasted, well, I don't know. It lasted a few weeks. <laughs> now I'm kind of on a, a slow, a slow part of my studying right now. And, but I'm still doing link. And I'm kind of forcing myself to do some uh, SRS, but geez, it's uh, maybe I'll show you guys later what I'm doing. It's not the best. It's uh, anyway. Um, I'm actually I, I, my my real focus is Korean. That is the language I really want to improve. I was uh, because of um, the live stream the other day. Spanish is uh, also on my radar. Has been working a little bit of Spanish. Um, Lamont's live stream that is, and he's doing it again today. Probably, I don't know. I, I've 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 been I've watched several hours of it, so I'm probably I might take today off. Um, and I donated um, to his uh, charity uh, thing he has going on. Um, so anyway, so what I'm doing with uh, my Korean, if you you can see my, uh, let's try doing this. Okay, oh, there it is. So you can see um, continuing studying. This is Link. Uh, this is, if you've never seen Link before, these are all the lessons they have. Um, and I, wow, it's like spamming me with mini stories. I just recently added some, I, I, I'm, I'm, don't, I don't understand everything about Link at all, but I did figure out how to add the mini stories to my uh, lessons or courses list. And, um, and it looks like it's spamming me with them. I actually hate the mini stories. But Steve seems to like them a lot. And I, I also kind of feel like by doing native immersion, because um, you want comprehensible input, right? So you want to understand what you're, what you're looking at. And of course, I do understand it somewhat, but the understanding is incomplete. The understanding would be better if I stuck with, uh, did stuff lower level. Um, yeah. So that's why I'm trying to force myself to do the link mini stories. They're really low level though. They're so boring. You know, Link, uh, Steve is all about, you know, content of interest. I cannot believe he does the mini stories. So like over and over and over again for all these languages. Crazy. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll just show you this. I think you can uh, view all. Here we go. So these are, this is my library. Um, I actually reset Link. I'm not sure if you've watched my previous videos, but um, for a while, um, I actually was marking every word known, even just as soon as I saw it, just because the way the link, I didn't like the way link was set up. I just wanted it to be a dictionary. And uh, then I kind of undid that because they made some changes. So, uh, which I can show you in a moment. They made some changes. So I undid that so that I can actually see it can count. It says my current count of word count is at 17,342. And I actually just posted on the forums recently a question asking, what does this number mean? Like on the Cepher scale, like B A1, A2, B1, B2. Um, I, I don't think this is indicative of all my vocabulary that I know. Um, there's more words, but I, I've been doing this for a few months, a couple months now. So it's not too bad. It, it definitely, if you look at the mini stories, there's word, I, I, it says like you don't only know like a certain percent, like 55. I'm sure I know way more than that, uh, the mini stories, because they're pretty simple. But, um, it says 32%. That's baloney. That's probably just the next le the lesson I'm working on. The unknown words is a lot in this, even though this is um, one of the easiest native, it's a translation from Japanese. Um, it's one of the easiest books I've read, I've encountered so far. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, here's the, I have this, uh, I'll just go through the, uh, my, my library here. This says, it says, Goblin Sabaibo. Um, it is a translation from, uh, a light novel written in Japanese. It's not particularly good, but um, for me to find I, my, most of the uh, eBooks I get for Korean 
are off the uh, Google Play Store, and finding um, stuff to read is is tricky. I don't know where I don't know how to find it, so it's it's hard. This this is uh, um, this came up. It has a cute girl in the front that helped, but even just the fact that it was just a, a translation from Japanese made me think, oh, it's easier because it's translated. You know, it, it, generally that's always true. A translation is much uh, is, is, is is a step uh, below. Uh, any kind of uh, native uh, material that's written in, in Korean for Koreans, uh, but it's still advanced. It's way above my level. Um, then this is uh, Stephen King. This is it. it is, you can't see it really, but it's it. It says Kugo. Kugo is it. Um, I loved this story as a child, and I kind of thought about, I was, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's available on the Google Play Store in translation from Korean, and it is. That is something I'm looking forward to reading because I have forgotten basically. I mean, I remember the plot generally, but uh, I didn't see the movies, so uh, it's been so many years since I read this. It's it'll it, that'll be fun, but it I started reading it. Um, it's hard. <laughs> it's a little easy because it reads like Stephen King. It's translated from Stephen King. It kind of and it's kind of, you know, it's the, uh, um, you know, it's New England, America, New England. The setting I, I'm finding this actually really helps. Um, having a setting that you're familiar with with the foreign language takes a little bit of a load off your brain. It, it helps. Um, so this. And I've, I've kind of known this before because I've, you know, my, you know, studying other languages, but rediscovering that, uh, reading stuff translated from uh, American English, <laughs> from by written by American authors into um, Korean is is a really good idea. Except that the, there is a lot of vocabulary I don't know in there too, though. So this this one, I'm going to finish up this one um, before I, I move on to something else. Um, Oh, and I, I, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and admit it. I get uh, er erotic eBooks. Um, they are good. At least I haven't, this one I haven't read. I haven't read much of anything in Korean, but in the past I found that, yeah, the uh, level, as you might expect, is pretty low. Uh, the content is, the the uh, plots are pretty simple. Uh, vocabulary repeats a lot. It all depends on the author. Sometimes if they're published, they will actually go kind of overboard with the, um, with the vocabulary. But in general, these, these are, <laughs> it's like, uh, Easy reading for adults. Uh, yeah, good, good studying. Um, someone else recommended that to me. Yeah, and I went with it. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Pilsung uh, Tong Chong Unyong Pangbop. As looking at this, you might guess it is also uh, translated from Japanese. Uh, it looks like an anime, and it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's actually an anime, but it's a, a, a light novel. It might be an anime for all I know, um, but I don't think so. I started this. It's a, it's a little bit. It's harder than this is. Um, not. I mean, it's still. I still think it's still easier than uh, a book written uh, by Koreans for Koreans. But it's 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 a little bit harder. So I'm doing gonna finish that later. It's uh, like an isekai. Um, what's the isekai? Like you know, uh, this guy gets transported to this um, to a fantasy world that's basically like a like a role playing game which is the same plot as this one. <laughs> There's so many novels like that, 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 uh, yeah, that, that, that seems pretty popular. Um, okay. This is Harry pot, uh, Harry Potter, um, Pule Chang and the, I guess the, oh gosh, I forget the English. Um, cup. It's not like cup of fire, but cauldron of fire. I don't know. I forget. And well, that's embarrassing being put on the spot. I haven't looked at it in so long. Um, I've made some good progress on this. This is uh, this is really good. I've actually noticed that uh, my because I've I've read uh, I think this is my the fourth Harry Potter book I've read. Um, anyway, I've noticed that I read when I'm reading Harry Potter, I can understand it significantly better than anything else I read. Um, my dad was I was having a conversation about this with my dad because he studies German. Um, and he studied Latin way back in the day, but he studies German and uh, he's way old. But um, yeah, he still does foreign languages. He's not nothing like me, but uh, where I, he just did German in, in college, went to Germany and stuck and stuck with that. Dabbled in French a little bit um, uh, several years ago, but really didn't get very far with it. And uh, anyway, but he has, uh, you know, he really has good advice uh, for me on, on uh He's a smart guy, so he has a good advice on reading. And basically, it's not his. His Steve Kaufman is kind of like <laughs> uh, you'll see Steve. He, Steve Kaufman kind of like when he 
uh, talks about reading. It's, it's, it makes it almost sound like he's the one that invented this, but he's not <laughs> for sure. Um, my dad's just basically tells me that if you want to learn a foreign language, you need to read books, novels. And the reason why is that any author, regardless of how good they are uh, or how talented they are, uh, when they're going to re- they're going to repeat vocabulary that throughout the book, um, and so when you read a book and you need that repetition, if you if you read like for example, he says that reading newspapers is actually one of the most difficult things to do in a foreign language, and of course it depends on the article you're reading, but in general, like if you try to read the New York Times as a as someone learning English, I mean, of course the length is good. It's nice and short, so you can. It feels like it's bite sized, but the vocabulary actually will hit you over the head, and it, it doesn't really repeat. I mean, it does repeat a little bit, but it, it's not like a novel where you're getting this repetition like over and over, and you're you're getting familiar with it. You no, know, they're giving you this like as much information as quickly as possible, and it's it's hard. Uh, novels are the um, are the opposite of that, and they're just perfect. They're really perfect for language learning. Um, this SB, SBS News is uh, something I imported. I think it's from a YouTube video. Looks like I've read most of it. I thought I read all of it. I don't know. Good for weather vocabulary. I might go back and read it. I, I mostly stick with books. I just kind of, this is something that um, popped up in my feed. If you were on the previous screen, sometimes uh, I guess link, I'm not sure where they come from, but they kind of like search the internet for stuff to, that you can like kind of uh, import and study. And I grab that. These quick imports. Let's see what these are. Alchemy of Souls. That's uh yeah, that's a uh, I'm I'm really enjoying that. Um Netflix uh K drama. And this is Alhambra Kungjong A Tuok. Uh, Memories of the uh, Alhambra. Uh I well I when I wa- I watched this several years ago when it was when it came out. Several years, like four years ago, basically, when I that was one of the reasons I kind of got back into uh, decided like, hey, I want to learn Korean. This was I, I liked it so much. I like video games, and um, at least I you know, did growing up. Don't play them so much now, but I uh, love this. This is just intense. The story plot was it seems really original, fresh, um, and love this so much. So I'm not sure if I'll, I'll probably I will read this eventually, but again, I'm really focusing on books. I, I kind of was started reading this, but I'm like, I'm willing to do books. Books are where it's at for me. I have faith in books. They have served me well in the past. Um, what else? Some of these, as I mentioned, these adult books, I don't even know what this is. It's not even an adult book. This is just, I, I it looked like it was, but that's just the cover. It's actually really weird. It, I think it's about a, uh, I don't know, some guy that likes to date married women and he's giving advice to other people that want to do the same thing or something. And it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's not that long. It's like, yeah, I had no idea what it was when I grabbed it. Um, uh, yeah, just ignore that. Um, this right here, um, Richard, uh, uh, bakery. Uh, this this seems like a really original, good book, and it's written by Koreans for Koreans. And I've been I struggled through parts of it. I've, I've gone part way through it. It's a very seems like a very interesting story. However, it is hard. Uh, the the language, the vocabulary, it's uh, it's harder than the other books I have. So I'm going to come back to it. But I did make some pretty good progress. Let's see if it shows me. See, well, maybe not as much progress as I thought, but <laughs> it's not that long. <laughs> Uh, 17 chapters, at least uh, 17 link chapters. I don't know how many real chapters there are in there, but um, if you're looking at the link chapters, that's like a, it's kind of like a, like if you get like a, te- it seems like if you get a text file splitter that just divides everything by the same amount of text, that's, I'm not sure how long the text is, but link has like a maximum or arbitrary ideal amount uh, per chapter per lesson. Uh, amount and it just kind of takes these ebooks and chops it up into that amount into those lessons. It, it, it seems okay to me. I like it. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, Hobbit, the Hobbit. I haven't gotten too far with this. This was um, when I learned German way back in the day. This was the book I I started on. I went to the bookstore and 
just decided, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to learn. I, my, my German was like A1 or below, <laughs> A1-ish. I had uh, two semesters of college German at school, but I did really badly with it. I basically knew the present tense for simple verbs and vocabulary was so bad. But, and I, I remember reading in a book somewhere by a Spanish author. He was, uh, you know, uh, someone who moved to America from um, Latin America, I think, and as a teenager, probably, and very su- obviously successful guy. He's an author now, writing in English. And he just, I remember him saying something in his, like, you know, notes by the author or prelude or whatever, just talking about stuff. He's like, how to learn a foreign language? He's read, 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 or something like that. This is what I, I vaguely remember. It stuck with me. Um, I went to Germany was struggling in the class like hell. And I said, you know what, Paul, you need to, uh, this isn't working because I was just so confused in class. What you need, you, you, you like to read books. You know, what you need to do is sit down and read a book. So that's what I did. I read The Hobbit in German and it was so hard, but it, it actually worked for me eventually. Um, okay, just some more lessons that I imported. Eating out, beginners, simple dialogue in a restaurant, RFA. I don't know what this is. Copyright. Yonop News. News. Okay, yeah. I like reading news. As I said, uh, news can be hard, but that, that's like a newspaper news. I think web news is maybe a little easier, but maybe not. So I'm not really focusing on news too much. I would love to be able to read the news. It's something you could do in the morning as a nice habit, because I like to do that in English, is uh, you know just read the news. It'd be easy, but I don't think it's the best way. If you're at a higher level, though, if you're able to read the news, I, I obviously, uh, you know, good way. But reading books, I think, if you want to improve, is the number one way. So, okay, that was a um, bunch of bl- um, bull, just me going through my library, and link is slow. Come on, link. Now this story is I like isekai. I like I like the premise. That's why I got it. I like the premise of a uh, you know someone going to because I like role playing games. Someone being you know going living their new life in a in a role playing game world. It's it's it appeals to me. I find it interesting. I think it's fun. Um, in this particular one, this guy was reborn as a goblin in a fantasy world and he doesn't even remember his previous life except just vaguely kind of like if you had amnesia but you still remember how to talk you still remember common knowledge you just don't remember who you are that's kind of who he is so he remembers that he used to be a human he remembers about remembers japan but that's it and now he's a goblin and i thought i thought that was a pretty fun premise to start um he can't now being a goblin he's not quite a slime but He's kind of at the bottom of the food chain, and among goblins, he's pretty weak. And he's still, but he's a little bit smarter than the average goblin, being a, a human. It's fun seeing him struggle. But then he, this, this, this character here is we kind of, which is kind of part of why I got it, kind of ruined the book for me. I'm still reading it because she's so two dimensional. She has, there's no depth to her whatsoever, and in fact. I guess the way the author, he wants to get this goblin character in this um, obviously stupidly cute, beautiful uh, human girl to kind of hook up. And how do you do that? Well, you got to make this, I guess you have to make the uh, girl in like, like uh, basically he makes her like retarded. Um, she gets traumatized by this, by some bandits. And now she's got like mental issues and she's basically incompetent and, um, he's helping her and that's, she's afraid of humans. So because she's too afraid of other humans, she's able to, and he's the one that rescued her. Then now he's the one, the only person that she'll really talk to and, or feel at all comfortable around. It's so stupid though. Honestly, I shouldn't say that, but yeah. Try a new sentence review. I hate this. I don't like it. I don't like this. It's like, if I wanted to do Duolingo, I go do Duolingo, but three day streak. Keep going. I um, I guess I can see how streaks could be good, but they're also I don't know. I don't like them. <laughs> it's like if you want to take a day off, you should take a day off. <laughs> but if you're worried about your streak and you kind of freak out and get obsessed with it, then that that's I don't know. I'm 
kind of making a point not to not to do streaks. Okay, so I was thinking I would do sentence view for this. All right, I've already been chatting for way too long, so we're just up us do a few minutes of this. Um, I don't usually use the uh, desktop website to do this. I always I'm using my iPhone. I was thinking of streaming this with the iPhone, but I don't know. It's a computer, so here I am. All right, so they've got these options here. You can. This is kind of kind of new. Within the last few months, they added this. The uh, show translation's been around all anyway. So I kind of like it if there's only a few words, but and it, I guess it's alphabetical, maybe, but. I don't know how the alphabet goes in the Korean alphabet anyway. So to me, it just looks random. I would like it if it listed this, these words in the order that they appeared in the, in the sentence. Sometimes there's these, these sentences are really long. There's a lot of unknown words. It would work much more nicely for me, but anyway, I'm just, I just ignore this feature for, uh, okay. Hengsang in, Hengsang in, uh, Pinego and, Pinego shine. Okay. Pinego nawa shigan opsayo ramyon tweja nagata. Actually, know this haksu. It's uh, I got it kindly, but it came right back. It kind of feels like I think it's similar to the Japanese. I'm not gonna. Worry about the Japanese, but it, this clicks pretty well. There's whereas this uh, pinego, pinego, kind of it's getting it's getting familiar, but there's no Japanese in there for sure, <laughs> or Chinese rather. This aksu is really from Chinese. Um, and show translation. I don't. I'm not currently using this feature too much. The peddler shook hands with his eyes shining and said, "I don't have time to stay like this," and ran out. Otsoneso Fishing Village. This has been repeating so much lately. I'm probably going to forget it again, but obviously right now I know it because it's repeating. It's just after I get past this scene or this book, it will, I'll probably... Otsoneso. Otsoneso. Um, it probably won't repeat again for a long time for me. So it's really above my level, but because it's repeating so much in this book, I'm, I'm remembering it. But I will forget it after the, I finish this book. I'm positive. Right, I'm going to put this to recognized. I'll... Heng Sang Il, um, peddler. Again, this is another vocabulary or peddling. Um, oops, let's go to two. I might mark it known because I might know it, remember it, but I kind of doubt it. I think it's just not, my brain kind of knows that this is of limited use. And once you get done reading this, you will be done using this word. Um, I think that's the name of that town. Machigo, Pyongyang E, Soup. Uh, the border village or border forest or remote forest, wild forest. Uh, I think it's like going out. Do I want to leave? Yeah, right, I'm just going to mark that. Good. So translation. It seemed that he was about to finish his peddling work in the fishing village and leave for the forest on the frontier. This is kind of hurting my Korean. He's adding gobu to all his sentences because he's a goblin. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's mark that down just because it's baru. Sometimes, even though because of the uh, Korean conjugates, like every word has like like a hundred conjugations, but um, I'm if I should know this, I kind of want to mark it known. Like body, I should know body. I, I should know that. So even if it doesn't click because I'm getting a little confused by this extra stuff they add on, I often will just mark it known regardless. And if I have to look it up, I look it up. But I just don't want it to be like highlighted as this new word. <laughs> uh, show translation. The action is fast, Gob. Yokshi, shini pun. Bari bari, heaji. Let's do it fast. Uh, 
After all, all newbies sheep. Should be quick. Pari pari teaji. Uh huh. So, okay, Bali, Barumyon, uh, Tarumjil. This is like an ability. Tarumjil. Running. I don't know. I, I think I knew this, but now I forgot it. So that's why it's anyway. Tarumjil. I. Isotjido. Morokenunde. And my pronunciation sucks. It would maybe be a little better if I was just reading the book, like straight through, but not much. Uh, so I apologize. If your feet are that fast, you might be able to run, right? Yeah, this this is his one of his like it's I, like I said, he lives in a video game and he has certain skills, and this is running. So because he has this skill, he's actually pretty good at running. Before, whereas before, he actually got the skill recently, and I um. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see. He got a bunch of skills recently. He kind of started off as this, like with no skills. And I don't know, it was uh, watching him like struggle was pit pitiful. <laughs> but now he's got some skills. I'm kind of curious to see if he can start kicking butt. Um, okay. Ah, irum mundun go go to kanbak henne. Kanbak, I know that one. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. Kanbak henne. I forgot to ask your name again. Probably thinking, Paul, why don't you translate this sentence for us before you press the translate? But I, I because I, I suck at translating. <laughs> I might, might, I'm getting, I'm a little bit, I get the gist of this, but I'm not like making the, the jump to an actual English sentence would be, no, <laughs> not, not, not too much. Uh, eight. Um, uh, Dalme, Hey, I'll ask the next time we meet. Ah, Iyagi ga kunnal sumyon chamkan na tonpo ga. Kunnasumyon. That was un marked unknown, and that is simply because this word, uh, Kunada is has a billion conjugations in Korean. And I have to mark every conjugation as a separate word because that's how Link counts words. Thank you, Link. Ah, if the story's over, would you like to see me for a second? Yeah, see, I'll, I, I, I remember, I, like I went on the forums and I asked somewhat recently, did, like 17,401 words. What does this mean on the Sefer scale? Does anyone know for a Korean? And I have not gotten a response. If I go on the forums and say, oh, I think the way we count words in this app is kind of dumb because it doesn't have a meaningful number, then I, uh, there's a bunch of people that love Link and they just, they, they just <laughs> will they'll troll me and they'll play devil's advocate and be like, no, this is the best way. This is the only way. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But if you go in and say, hey, what does this number mean? Then suddenly they're silent. It means nothing. <laughs> it's a meaningless number. Strangers. Uh, Strangers. Not sure what that means. Strangers. Strange. Okay, Strangers say, Makyo, Wiro ga iso yo. Or iso. I have a request for strangers. Go. Maki. Kind of know that, but I kind of don't. I'm just going to keep it unknown for now. Appa. Usun. Pogo. Buto. Tora. Tora. Yajo. Dad, you have to listen first. Appa. From the report. You should know this. I didn't really kind of get it when I heard, saw it, but sometimes just having it marked new makes it harder for me. My brain just kind of filters it like, oh, you don't know this. But in fact, I should 
be able to get it. It's just the grammar is a little weird, but not too weird. Um, it's not too long. That, that's actually pretty easy grammar. It's just, uh, anyway. Also, also, uh, Gobriyoshi, Gobriyoshi, that's his name. He's, he's a goblin and he just added O. And then the she means polite anyway. Also, say, oh, Gobriyoshi, Gobriyoshi, uh, Shinyongshi. And that's his girlfriend. That's the, the retarded blonde girl's big boobed. He calls her big boobs throughout the book. That also kind of turns me off. It was okay when he didn't know her name, but now he knows her name. It's kind of like he still keeps calling her boobs. Ugh. I don't know. I just I think it's because I'm old. I'm like, why am I, why does this bother me? Is it because I'm old? Like if I was younger, would I just be like, yeah, boobs. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Gobio, Mr. Ching Yong. Hang sang ying yi. Dena ja kidari yatta nun. De shi. Gil de chop su wan. Do salami nege marun gus grotta. After the peddler left, two guild receptionists spoke to me as if they had been waiting. Hang sang in. All right. All right, this is going to be my last one. I'm going to end the video after this one. So, Uriege, Makil, Riroga, Itako, Hanika, Shile, Shilchero, Kidarin, Gokechi. Kidarin. He said he had a request for us, so he must have actually waited. So he's, um, just to give a little context to this, uh, basically he just recently, him and his, uh, uh, him and, uh, and his two companions. So the goblin, the, uh, blonde, big chested lady, and then his orc friend, um, they're like, I don't know, they're traveling together. They've kind of become a small family. And he just, but he gets a lot of prejudice uh, throughout the world because among the human communities, because he's a goblin, he would get prejudice actually among goblin communities because he's an outsider and he's not a, a good, a proper goblin. Anyway, so he just recently moved to this uh, fishing village where they accept him because they're kind of, I don't know, really open-minded. They have lizard men and they have mermaids and just, I don't know, they just accept him. So this is kind of his, a new thing for him. He's in this village and he gets to be an adventurer with uh, at the Adventurers Guild and that's kind of... Uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, that is that is this is how I'm doing most of my studying at the moment. Um, uh, there's a couple other things I'm doing. I might make another video, but uh, yeah, this one here. Um, I'm reading. I have lots of faith in reading. I think if I can get through enough books, then it, everything else kind of comes together. I would like to improve. My grammar, my grammar is getting better slowly, but, oh, it's so painful. I hate grammar. I hate studying grammar, rather. Grammar is so, I love grammar when I know it, and I hate, I hate acquiring new grammar. Um, but my goal is to read several books and slowly increase my vocabulary, my increase my comprehension and just getting used to Korean, and then work on my other skills. I'm trying to a little bit work on listening and speaking as I you know, as I go, but just a little bit, this is my huge focus, my big focus, hoping to make some good progress. Um, anyway, yeah, if you're studying Korean, if you have any tips for me, because I need tips, I need help. I'm, this is hard. Um, it's like I've got all this language learning experience, but I struggle with this. Uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. Um, thank you so much for watching.